Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do, for I do not have the space to store my harvest? And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods, and I shall say to myself, Now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you. And the things that you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus it will be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. If you don't know the story of the North American martyrs very well, you should definitely check it out and read a little bit more about them. Uh, They're a great example to us, and not only that, but I'm confident that um, our faith, uh, as it stands in in the United States, uh, has something to do with their work, right? Uh, They were the ones that uh, came out as missionaries. They were Jesuit missionaries coming to the United States, uh, which wasn't um, fully defined at that point. Um, But they came and they ministered in a particular way to the Native American people. Um, And I think one of the things that uh, we can take from their example, of course they're martyrs, so they died for the faith and had to suffer many great sufferings. Um, So many uh, that were just very, um, yeah, things that you can imagine were, were very difficult. Uh, for instance, things like um, burning hatchets that were uh, put over their necks and uh, uh, all over their body, um, being boiled as a uh, mockery of baptism, um, limbs and uh, parts of their bodies being cut off and things. Um, so it, it wasn't a very pleasant experience for them. Um, but they persevered, and, and we can uh, see uh, some, get, have received some encouragement from their example. Uh, But one piece of their story, which I think is also worth uh, recounting um, for all of us, uh, is the way that they tried to bring the gospel uh, in the language of the people, you could say. It's kind of a symbolic thing, but but something that they literally did. Uh, John de Brebeuf, if I'm remembering correctly, not Isaac Jogues, it's one of the two, but I'm pretty sure it was John de Brebeuf, um, was famous for being uh, very gifted in language. Um, and he learned the um, native language, I believe, of the Hurons, but I could be wrong about which tribe it was specifically, um, made a, a catechism in their language to help teach them about the faith. Um, and there's a story that goes that at one point he was able to escape uh, immediate martyrdom uh, because he knew their language so well, and that uh, was something that the uh, Native American people took as like a sign that, you know, Uh, He was a good person. Um, So uh, learning their language, uh, and and I'm reminded too of a little scene from The Passion of the Christ um, when uh, Jesus is before Pilate, 
Um, in, in that little scene in, in The Passion, it's kind of an interesting uh, detail that Pilate speaks to uh, Jesus in Aramaic or, no, in Hebrew, um, but then Jesus responds to Pilate in Latin, um, which is a really interesting little detail. Uh, all of it saying, in a way, Jesus speaks to each one of us in our own language. Um, he doesn't, you know, like wait for us to kind of try and, and change things to get to him, but he comes to us uh, in, our, in a way that is meaningful to us. Um, it's the whole mystery of the incarnation, right? God becomes man so that we can see him. Um, it's the whole thing that was behind what uh, John Derbebuff and the other mar martyrs to the missionaries to North America did. They wanted to bring the gospel in a way that these people understood. Um, and I think that's a good model for us as we go about our work of evangelization and bringing the, the good news to people too. You know, how can we speak the gospel to them in a language that they can understand, in a way that they can understand, to grab their hearts so that they can also know the good the goodness of Jesus and the good news that he came to save them. Uh, so we ask in a particular way for the martyrs, John de Brebeuf and companions, uh, to pray for us in that regard uh, as we bring the gospel to all people in a language that all can understand and grasp.